What is up everybody? Jayco here today. I'm out here getting my tan on. It's very, very loud because they're paving the pool area over there, so I apologize. I'm a little um, frustrated about something that happened a while ago, and maybe social media can help me get my money back. And it's a situation where GL Homes, which is a building company in, in Florida, which they're also building in New Jersey now, so a multi-billion dollar company, uh, took about $33,000 from me and not only did they um, take that money from me but they then and sold the house that was technically mine for $27,000 more than I paid for it according to public records um, it says what they paid for it whoever bought the house so I don't want to sit here and explain this for like three hours I kind of just want to talk about this and hopefully you guys can share this video and hopefully help me get my money back I know a lot of people are like oh I don't care about you who cares you lost money it's 30 it wasn't just thirty two thousand dollars it was the fact that I sold a house that I owned um, and now I can't even get a mortgage so I've been renting for the last few years but I sold the house that I owned personally stayed with my parents sold all my stuff and didn't get the house that I was building. So this house I built from scratch. Um, I visited, which was in Tampa, Florida, which is a, f a four and a half, five hour drive. I visited at least five times, uh, signed a bunch of paperwork, uh, did everything I was told I needed to do in order to get this house. And pretty much 10 months into the build, they told me I'm not qualified based upon a debt to income ratio. Uh, so when I was there and I, told them about how much I make and all this other stuff, they pretty much said, you know, you're golden as long as you sell your house, right? And I sold my house and provided them that I could make enough to afford the house. Like, I did all that I could do and I still, they wanted me to come up with like a ridiculous amount down, talking like 45% down or something and I, I just didn't have the money to do that. Um, but they weren't willing to give me the loan and I talked to a lot of other people and I, I did everything that I could do to try and get a loan and, and was constantly denied. Um, I even tried doing a private loan, it didn't work. So it really sucked because when I signed the contract, they should not have let me sign the contract if I didn't qualify for the loan. So not only that, I picked out you know options that I wanted and I had to put 5% down and 33% of my options. And why would you let me continue to do this if you know I wasn't qualified? So if you are watching this and you're an attorney and you want to take this case, let me know. Um, if you know anybody from GL Homes and can this out. Who is it, Junior? If you know anybody, I really appreciate it. I'm really trying to get this money back. Um, this is money I paid taxes on and I know with the situation, everything right now, maybe they'll be more reluctant. I think that's the right word to give it back or less reluctant. I think it's more reluctant to give it back. Um, it really, really does suck. It really does hurt because not only did I just lose money, I lost the house that I, it was my dream house. I lost a lot of time, a lot of money on gas and stuff like that. So it's a lot more than $32,000 for me. And the worst part is, it's not like they lost money selling the house they made $27,000 on the house. That hurts. And what hurts is seeing pictures of my house completed, realizing it's not my house. So if anybody, please, please, please get this video out. I want to expose the company and hopefully they'll give me my money back and I'll take down this video. But this video I'm not taking down because I feel like I've been taking advantage of. I was 20, like 23, 24 years old at the time and I still don't have the money. And when they sold the house, even if they said, hey, you know, we made money on this house, we made 27,000, we'll give you some back. That'd be great. So even if I get half the money, I'll still be happy if it's through like suing. But I, I definitely want all the money back from the company, especially now that it's been as long as it's been. And now with the economy the way it is right now, I would really appreciate it. So if they want this video removed, that's the only way it's getting removed or they can take me to court. So. 
I'm Jake. If you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer it. Like I said, I don't want to make this video like a 30 minute video explaining everything. I still have all the paperwork. I still have the contract and everything like that. I really, really feel taken advantage of. Um, it sucks. It really does suck. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm outside tanning and Bella, stay in the yard. Bella don't have a leash on right now. So we got to make sure she stays in the yard. And then the other kids, we got Junior and Bilo over there and Buster's Buster's behind me. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Stay safe, everybody. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. You're licking up my sweat. That's nasty. That's nasty. You're a nasty girl. You want a picture with me? Smile.